All right, in the last video, we talked about the serratus anterior plane block and the normal anatomy and the ideal location for where you deposit your anesthetic when doing this procedure. In this video, what I'd like to do is show this block in action. So this clip comes from a patient who had multiple rib fractures as a result of a pretty significant traumatic injury. And what we're looking at right here, just to get our bearings, is a rib right there, right, and the pleural line right there. So that means the muscle that leaves right on top of this rib is the serratus anterior muscle. And so we're targeting the plane that lies just above the serratus anterior muscle is the place where we're going to deposit this anesthetic for this patient. So we can see in this image the needle coming in the long axis of the transducer. You can see that needle in its entirety right in this area right here. And we're seeing the beginnings of the deposition of the anesthetic in this anechoic fluid collection just superficial to the serratus anterior. When you do this procedure, it should flow pretty smoothly. As we proceed through the procedure, you can see that the volume of anesthetic has increased as it spreads out over the superficial part of the serratus anterior. So I hope this helps. As always, thank you for watching.